Hi, I'm Rick Morgan. And I'm Nolan Morgan. And we are your comic, comic book, book scientists. scientists. This is your intro to your intro. So you'll see another intro, but we wanted to do some warnings and explanations first. Yeah. Today we will demonstrate our scientific method when we are developing new comic book cleaning methods. First of all, this is not tutorial, and you should probably not even attempt this if you are not equipped with safety gear or you are not experienced much of this type of work. We specifically do not mention the names of the chemicals we use. We're doing that to keep you from trying this at home because you could really get hurt and we don't want that. If you are looking for a tutorial, you can see some of our other videos, and this is just for fun to show people how we do our science. We will be posting some of the videos based on this work, which we've already actually done some, so that you can see them later and you can watch those if you want. But if you are still willing to watch, we will show you how we learn to remove ink and foxing from old comics. One last note, we are completely and fully aware that we destroy some comic books and we completely fully aware that they are not replaceable and uh, we know. You don't really have to tell us. Yeah, we know already. <laughs> so. Anyways, with that all the way, let's jump into the video. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rick Morgan. And I'm Nola Morgan. And we are going to show you some experiments we did today with comic books. We did some ink removal with our own concoctions of chemicals and some whitening of books. Is that right, Nolan? Yeah. What did we do? Can you explain it to the world? Uh, yeah, we, we put some put some chemicals on a book and it's a lot whiter. Yeah, we did. All right. It's the so, basics. So which is their first book here? So we, we first did Black Panther. Yep. And do you think that one came out good or bad? Um, it came out bad as you can tell from the corners it was, we, we basically thrashed this book yeah there's nothing left but we learned a lot and we removed some ink with our test solutions then we did it we have a ghost writer number two yeah and that one actually looks pretty good i think we're actually going to do some more work this one merits more work and i think we can make this book look a lot better what do you think yeah we could probably use make up better we can definitely make this book better with things we learned today this book's gonna come out okay i think yep. then the coup de gras the whitening we have Man Called Nova. What number is this? Uh, eight. Number eight. Man Called Nova, that, number eight. I thought that's when it was published. And it was from 1977. But this book was really uh, kind of old looking on the back, right? Yeah. And we do some whitening agents on it to make it look whiter. Now, it's not very even, so you can kind of tell we did it. But man, this side looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks we amazing. We did really great there. I didn't see that much when I was recording. Wow, I know. Once it after it dries a little more, it looks oh, really, what the heck? I know it looks way better, doesn't it? <laughs> so we did good on that one. So we got uh, two hits and a miss today. And did we want, want to learn anything? Did you want to talk about what we learned today at all? Uh, well, first of all, this guy's incredible, and this book sucks. <laughs> I'm incredible. No, oh. you. <laughs> I didn't pay. Did I pay you to say that? You're not paying me at all. <laughs> I didn't think. I cheap child labor. This <laughs> can't figure me an option. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Have fun. And we'll see you around, right? Yeah. All right. See you. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Hello. This, I am Nolan Morgan. And who is this? This is Rick Morgan. Yes. And what will we be doing today? Well, we're going to see if we can get some stray inks and transfer ink off of some comic books. And we're going to do some experiments to see how we do it. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go over here. So okay. show me this. This is the book. We're going to have a, it's called Black Panther number six. And here's the problem it has. Yeah. You see this ink on here? Yeah. This, this is probably too bad to be transferring, but it's a great experiment book. So we are going to do as a control. Number one, uh, number six will be our control. And we're going to try some of daddy's different solvents on here to see if they work. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the back of the book. And we're going to start on the left side and move to the right, assuming all this ink is about the same. And we're gonna see for this particular ink, which one works the best, okay? So I'm gonna work on number one there. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. So number one is solution number one. Oh, I got a little bit it's there. Okay. It's okay, I have some Kim wipes. We're gonna be making a mess here. That's why we have plastic on there. Uh, number two this is, is particularly good. gonna be I'm just going to use number two, like, this is just my regular cleaner, which no, neither of these do I expect to work, but we have to rule them out first, right? Okay, there's number okay. two. Okay. And then number three. Number three. It's going to be one of Daddy's other cleaners. He's tried lots of different... Here, uh, this is number three here. 
It seems to be working pretty well, actually. <laughs> Number three is doing pretty good. Yeah. Number two is not so well, maybe. Well, oh, kind of. Yeah. Actually, number two is doing pretty good. That's just my basic cleaner. Yeah, uh, number number three. three is this one. Number three looks pretty good. Not bad, really. Yeah. And then we're going to go with number four. Which is another cleaner. Yeah. Okay, number four. Ooh, number four. Mm, it's not great. Yeah, it's not really... Nothing special. Number five is the one I have the highest hopes for. I think it might be. Number five? Nice. Yeah. Okay. Looks like two and three are doing pretty well, though. I think that, um, I'm not sure which is doing better. I would say that two might be doing better. Two is surprisingly mm -hmm. good. That's just my regular. Maybe. This, um, this Maybe particular ink must not be very, uh, very polar. I think that um, three actually might be better. But, you know, and then, um, sure. this is Daddy's newest one today. I just made this one up today. So let's see how this Ooh. one works. Uh, it is this one's working the best. I yeah. thought it might see that look how well yeah. it's working Look at that ink come off of there. So it's supposed to be touching the blind Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Um, I'm worried that it might take some of the ink off the book, too So you only want to use it in white here, but look how look how good it works It really works pretty well Yeah. But I'm worried about the other ink too and that's the balance we have to strike right? Yeah, another thing if, is just looking smooth. If it's just a white area entirely Five would be your best bet, probably. Yeah, I'd say a five is pretty good. Wow, it's looking really well, actually. Um, so, but I will try and let's see. I suspect that my number two is going to clean it off pretty well without any um. Yeah, number two. Without dissolving any of the. Uh, this is Daddy's regular soap that he makes, and then um. Yeah, it's actually working quite well, and it doesn't remove any of the. Other ink there. Hmm. Yeah, that worked great actually. Yeah, it um, so that one's actually working quite well. Five works well, but it also it works really well. But it gets the ink off the book, and so and a lot of them are working, of course. So if we had to really clean this book off, which one do you want to try? We have six. They all six works pretty good actually. Yeah. I think number two is working pretty well. What do you think? Hmm. Well. Five just five actually looks the best. It's just that you might have to spend a bit longer. You you can't you can't use five as like I don't know. It's like on the go usage of cleaning your five six hundred dollar comic books. Well, this one, you know what? I don't know. I think two is the safest, right? Two is doing the best job for the least damage. Yeah. So let's flip it over. Flip it over. We've done a we've done a little test here, and let's go to number two, and let's try to clean this part off. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take a pad with, this is actually just my regular cleaner, so I'm actually shocked to see it's doing this well with this stuff. Yeah, I do a little bit of... And let's just see how it looks. Okay, we're going to start with this end right here. Yeah. And we're just going to go from his hand down. We have a control, right? And we're just going to wipe this book off and see what happens here. Just a little wipey wipe. Yeah. Yep. It's coming off. It certainly yeah. is. Um, yeah. It might take a while. This method is definitely coming off. We may, um, it may be a combination thing. We may start it with one and finish with the other, right? This will get the easy stuff off, and then we'll get the other. See, that isn't, that is not coming off as easily as I would have hoped. Hmm. Right on this side, it was coming off easier on the other side. Yeah, the thing is, uh... It's coming off. I mean, we might just have to spend some time on it. I mean, here it comes. Look. Looks a little bit like rough, like some parts are darker and some parts are lighter and some parts are just going completely wrong like that bit right there. It's just yeah. like folding over. We're learning, we're learning. So let's try this new one. This is called IC3. Let's try IC3. that one here. Mm. And we're gonna get that on here. That'll really get it out of that last little bit. Looks a little bit better. Without mm -hmm. having to rub the paper too much. It looks some better. Yeah, let me try it on a pad here. This stuff is expensive, so I made just a tiny bottle of it up. Okay. I had to put some surfactants in it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, well, that came right off. Oh, so wow. Got a ton of, you wanna, you wanna I'm worried it's going to get the ink off the book, too, so we just have to kind of go lightly at it. But it, there's, well, the thing is, I'm starting to learn there's a tremendous amount of ink in this book, so it's, um, it's coming out. But yeah, not. it's coming out. I get a chair. Good chair. Yeah, you're getting tired. You can stop it for now if you want. Uh, 
It's gonna get into Jerry's and like cut this out or whatever. Okay, so the method we're gonna develop here is gonna be to try to use just our basic cleaner because that doesn't remove any of the comic book ink. It's getting a lot of that book ink off of there. I'm just going back and forth. It's gonna take a long time to get all of that transfer ink out of it. But yeah. it's coming for sure. Look at that. See? Oh wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean it's we might have to let it soak in there for a little bit and then get some more out here. So let it Yeah. Put a little bit of that on. Okay. This this is book this book is covered in ink, so I don't know what happened, but it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Some could have like I don't know like opened one of their ink pen markers and accidentally um, <laughs> spilled it on their like ten dollar book back then and be like oh no better completely just keep this comic book and not care at all about it and sell it on eBay twenty years later <laughs> for like a total price of like a half a dollar fifty cents or whatever. All right, pause. Pause. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit. Okay. Go. Okay, so we learned some things here. One is that this compound here, this IC3, removes the ink really well, but it also removes the book ink. See this point right here? Yeah. But the regular cleaner does Whoa. pretty good. Not too good. On there, and we, we ruined this book because we are rubbing too hard near the staples, yeah. which we knew would break it, but we're in a hurry. So we should have flattened it first, and then this we're flattening it now. So let's see, our normal process would then be just to use a little tiny bit of this IC3 on the um, on the ink just to get it a little bit kind of loosened. Yeah. And then we would use the the IC1, which is the regular soap cleaner, and we could clean the soap out of the, the ink out of the book. Now that one's a disaster, of course, but we're just learning and doing experiments, so yeah. See how much more ink we got out of there. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it'll get there. The icy one takes a lot longer, but doesn't remove the other book ink, which is great. And that's what we want to see. But um, this book's, of course, a goner. We knew that before we started it. We sacrificed it to experiments, but we are, um, but we're learning. Yeah. And we will... I also have a question. Yeah, what's your question? Um, you know that there's um, also people that care lots about comic books and are comic book collectors in your audience, correct? I'm telling you, there are going to be some people that completely flip out that I ruined this book. They are going to have a conniption fit and they will definitely tell me. I mean, yes, but is there anything that, like, any precautions you would say to take about any of these? Like, you mean for personal safety or for hurting the book? Well... Maybe both. Like, what if they stain? Like, what if they, like, I don't know, like, what if you can, like, eat and, like, you'll turn into a bomb or whatever? <laughs> turn into, like, a giraffe and zebra. Oh, uh, you mean for the, you mean, uh, you mean precautions for protecting the book? Well, protecting the book, yeah. Don't rub the staples with a Q-tip when they're wet. Once they get wet, these, this is, like, that will happen. We knew that would happen because paper, wet paper is weak paper. Yeah. We talked about that already, right? Yeah. Why is it? Why is wet paper weak paper, Nolan? Because um, of the little bond things. The hydrogen bonds, yeah, hydrogen right? Bonds. Part part of cellulose fiber is a hydrogen bond. Yeah. And when and that's part of the strength of the paper. When you add water to it, the hydrogen bonds bond to water instead, and then the paper becomes weaker. So rubbing on wet paper is is a sign is a recipe for disaster. You don't you don't really want to do it. That's why I try. I don't always, but I try to roll my swabs like this. I roll them. Is there any household precautions you have? Like, like your body? You know, like, what if, like, does it stain easily? Like, is it, like, bad for you if you eat it? Is it, like, well, the cleaner? smell bad? Uh, it's a little bad for you if you eat it. Um, okay. It doesn't smell bad. The the IC3, that really does, it has awful smell. Here, give it a whiff. Let's see what you think. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. It's awful, right? Yeah. Here, I'll That's smell like the, marker. I'll smell this one. Huh? Well, that one. I don't know, it doesn't even have a smell, really. I know, it's really, that's gentle, and it's very dilute, but it works pretty well, so. Yeah. Um, Any of that stain? So this is, I mean, a lot of the blue ink is off here. This one was one of the worst I've ever seen for transferring, so it was a goner in the first place. But we we learned something, and I think that if we loosen it up a little bit with a more polar solvent, and then we finish with a soap, 
that will probably work. We also know to be really careful when you're rubbing. Actually, we try to roll as much as possible. Yeah. And not to let things get too wet. We let this thing get basically soaked. So, uh, But we're going to find another one with some transfer ink and see if we can get it off of there uh, kind of gently. Let's okay. see how we do, okay? Okay. All right, thanks, Nolan. You're welcome. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Hello. So, hey. what are you going to be doing again? Well, we just learned yeah. about what we think is the right answer to do this stuff. So we are going to put our learning to the test. And see this, look at the edge of this Ghost Rider book. This is Ghost Rider number two from 1973. It's probably a more valuable book than that other one. See, look at the edge here. Can you see it? Edge? We want to get that ink off. We got some transfer ink on the spine. Yeah. Let's, let's cool. see what we can do, okay? Okay. We're going to start with uh, this stuff here, the IC3 solvent, in just a little bit. IC3? Now watch this. So we're going to, we are going to rub this along this white spot in the spine. We feel comfortable doing this because it's not on a colored part, right? Yeah. So we're going to... So the blue part is the transferring. If you, and people that doesn't know. My Q-tip's already dry. Unfortunately, it's nothing's coming off because it dried. So it's quickly. a little bit, I think. Uh, I don't. It's. I got to do it really fast because it dries quickly. Here mm. we go. This will work better probably. There we go. Ooh, you gotta see. Yeah, that's that's working pretty well. It's coming off a little bit, not a lot. And also, pro tip: you're not supposed to do it hard, right? No, because it'll. The, mm. the paper around the staples is very. Yeah. So I actually I try to roll it more than I do rub it. Yeah. But it's. And it takes forever when you do that. Also, um, doing it lighter is actually better, correct? Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not pushing really hard. Look at this. Too yeah. so much ink I'm getting mm -hmm. off there now already. It's, get, some? it's getting loose, so... Especially because there's not that much in the first place and you're getting quite a bit off. Yeah, it's coming off pretty yeah. well, actually. So we're probably just going to put a little bit like this and then let it dry and then come back. But, hey, what do you say? Want to do a vote and see if we do a pad with our regular cleaner? Follow okay. up? Okay. We're not going to use the rough part, we're going to use the smooth part of the pad, okay? Smooth part. Okay. Okay. And then we're just going to take this like this. And this is our regular soap mm. cleaner, and we're just going to rub it along there. Oh, wow, that's that actually works so much better. Yeah, it looks, that looks pretty good. Yeah. The uh, the regular cleaner works really yeah. well if it just gets loosened up a little bit. Right it's, now? It's actually quite good. So, yeah, this transfer ink was a bit of a problem, but it's coming off now. Yeah. So, maybe a question to pass the time. Is there anything that might not be like normal that any of these like little, you know, comic book cleaner things can use? Like for example, are some of them too wet? Do some of them not work on ink? Um, well, do some of them dry? Ink, ink, the ink comes in all kinds of different polarities and bonders. So the ink that hits the paper is stuck on the paper with something called sizing agent. And back in these days it was alum or it was um, aluminum sulfate. So they don't use aluminum sulfate anymore, but that's what helps the ink. If you try to write on a like a coffee filter, it's very difficult if it doesn't have any sizing agent on it. Right. And so you need you need a sizing agent to make the ink stick. Now the ink that's printed stuck to the side. There's a polar and a non-polar end, right? The polar end stuck to the sizing agent, and it's sort of less available than the ink that is from a pen or a marker or something like that, or ink that even transferred from another book. So. What we're doing is we are getting the ink that is not stuck to sizing, hopefully. That was hopefully on the book after it was dried, after it was cured. And um, so there's a lot of ink on the back of this book here too. See that? Pretty that you have, which is too wet maybe, has a lot of water in it, can like, shouldn't be used much. Like, Well, we're not going to get it too wet. Uh, and we Too wet is... It's hard to tell how the age of the paper, how much, how oxidized the paper is. This is, um, all these things have contribute to the idea of being too wet. Now this one's approaching too wet right now, so I probably should stop and let it dry. But we are, get, look at this ink back here. See that? We're getting this ink off of here. Yeah. And we're going to, we're going to get it off. We'll do this, but, um, it'll, it might take some time. Okay. Look at it. It's coming. Yeah. You can see this right here. You can watch, actually just watch it disappear as I do this. Yeah. So yeah, this is all transfer ink. And sometimes they used to spray the bundles of books with a spray paint can yeah, when they arrived spray. at the distributor. Yeah, they used to kind of mark the, the books with a, if they were going to a, a store or a shopping, whatever area, with a thing of spray paint. And I, I think that's what this is. These guys would just zap it with a 
thing of paint really quick. And who knows what that paint was, right? I'm sure they didn't have a lot of quality control and they weren't making sure they were always using the same paint all the time. So that's what this is. That's what we're seeing here. And I'm going to get this off of here and then we're going to let it dry a little bit because I have a feeling we're getting close to too wet where we're approaching the time when we would damage the paper. This is, um, I mean, look at that. See that? Oh, yeah, it's quite a lot. We're, we're getting a lot of it out of there for Actually, sure. That's not even quite a lot. That's not like extreme amount. Yeah, it's coming out. I mean, it's it's a balance between the cleaning methods and yeah. how fast you want to go versus uh, how much damage you want to do to the rest of the book. So we're, this area is pretty white, so I'm, I feel like I have a lot of license to clean this area pretty well. Yeah. But, of course, this stuff dries pretty quickly, and so you have to reply it really quickly, too. Yeah. Um, are you smelling it yet? Um, no. If you can smell it, I'll open a window. We don't want you to breathe in it. Mm. You're just a little guy. Well, it's coming off. Another small question is, none of these are like harmful, right? Like, none no, of these It's are harmful. Like... I mean, I wouldn't drink this stuff. I mean, not like mean. drink, like, there's there's nothing like- It's not a carcinogen or anything, it. no. If you like smell it, it won't, it won't make you turn into like a zebra or anything. No, it will make you turn into a baboon, but not a zebra. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll make you turn into a monkey. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll see. Look, Nolan, it's getting better. Yeah, yeah. We just have to spend a lot of hours doing this. Yeah. Because you know, that's can, just what we do. You guys can remember two minutes ago, then it was pretty bad. But we can always go back. They they have the magic of going back yeah. and forth, and we don't. So it's definitely we, getting um thinner than it was. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna end up cleaning it all oh, up. Wow. It just depends on if we want to put in the time or not, because I don't think that we do, honestly, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, this has got a surfactant in it that helps loosen up. It's got like an emulsifying agent that helps to loosen the, yeah. the ink in there. So that'll that'll do it. It's it's working. It's coming out. I should make a Q&A video, maybe. It's like a 10-minute video of you just answering questions that, I, that me or me. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm sure you... Not sure how many people will watch it, but I'd be happy yeah. to talk to you. You can make like timestamps and like. Yeah. Oh, you know how to do that. Like huh? what we talk about. Like, you know how to do that stuff. In like two minutes, we can do like I don't know, like whatever medicine that we could like, like two minutes. We can do like how to, how to like save you from turning into a monkey, like you said <laughs> earlier. Turn into a monkey, a baboon, a baboon, an ape. Mm. Yeah. So no, some of them, I'm just checking some of the other solvents, and they're they're not winners. It's only the number one and the number three are the yeah. ones that are really working here. So if we just keep doing this, I mean, I think it's going to work. It just it's going to take some time. Yeah, to be patient to um, yeah. keep comic book cleaner. If you're in a hurry, this is this is a game of inches and not miles. You can't like clean your comic books on the go like a switch or whatever. Yeah, you just have to want to sit here for a very long time and do this yeah. kind of stuff. I mean, some people do. Some people always get mad at me in my videos because they're like, oh, you didn't explain enough, or I can't do this at home. And it's like, yeah, dude, you're not going to be able to do this at home. Because yeah. it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, so this is not terrific, probably, but it's better. Ooh, look at this, Nolan. There's foxing down here, dude. I think Ooh. we can do some more experiments in this book. We can get that metal out of there for foxing. That'll be great. Yeah. Mm, man, this one's ripe for experiments, but we'll we'll maybe do a different book on that one. So we don't want to do too many experiments on one book. Well, it's not great. It's better than it was, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think probably we can uh, we can quit soon. Yeah. Get some of this stuff off of here, but I think we're getting there. Sam, what do you think? Um. Yeah. So, do you think that one day you should make like a video where like you show how to clean like those new comic books, like comic books like the 1900s and stuff like that. The 1900s? This is from the 1900s, dude. This is from 1973. How old do you think I am? I mean, I mean, yeah, like 19 stuff, whatever, <laughs> 19, I don't know, 19 number number. Um, oh, you know, like 19 something something stuff. Oh, it's getting weak. Um, has like different papers and Yeah, comics. it does. And the, the sizing yeah. agents changed in like the early, yeah. the mid 80s. and. A little at a time. They don't use aluminum sulfate anymore, so very different. Yeah, it is different, and the ink's a lot shinier and brighter, and so things yeah. things change a lot. All right, so we're just gonna let this dry because we're trying to make the paper weak. But mm -hmm. you know what? We got. I mean, it's not great. We can get that off of there. We know we can if we keep playing with it. So we'll just we will just stick it in the uh, 
dryerizer here. Yeah. Stick on top. Whoa. Oh. There was another one in there. It's okay. Uh, okay. It's okay. That one was getting thrown out anyway. Okay. Um, but we will put this in here and yeah. call it good. Yay. All right. Warm it up. We're not going to press it. We're just going to warm it up until it dries. Okay. All righty. Thank you. Enough. Okay. But, um, by the way, I think you love Spider-Man. I don't know why. Just, I just think you do. And I do. Oh, cool. Okay. Do another ever. So we're going to try to make this. We have this book here called Man Called Nova Number 8. Yeah. Man okay. Called Nova. Right. Back of the page is pretty brown looking. Hit the picture button and take a picture of it here, son. Okay. So it's pretty dark. Okay. And we've got two cleaners. Daddy's got cleaner A and B. One's a 35% peroxide base and one's a 5%. Yes. Leach base, but they also have surfactants and stabilizers, and they have EDTA and sodium silicate. In them, right? and these are harmful. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. The first yeah. orange one, especially. But we're going to see which one makes the paper look whiter. Okay. So what yeah. we're going to do is now watch this. We're going to try to use the action to push the stains out of the book. Can you see both of these test tubes? Yeah, both. Now watch what happens. They're going to react. Okay. Watch the re see the reaction. Watch this. Yeah, I'm, look I'm looking at the liquid. Okay, let's put it away from your eyes. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it gets super hot. You see that? Okay. That's definitely, that also looks harmful. It's super harmful. So we don't want that on us, right? But. Oh, you got it spilled on the page. Oh, that page. It's okay, dude. I got it clean. Page isn't good. So we don't want that stuff on us, right? So we're going to do a few experiments here. We're going to do some A. Look over here. We have A, then B. This is Daddy's Solution A. Okay, look at, are you showing it? Mm -hmm. I don't think you can see it from there. There's A. Zooming it up. Okay. A. Okay. And then we're going to do B. Okay, B. Okay. Yeah. Don't okay. buy this stuff without special precautions. Is. Yeah, you do not want to I don't want it. anyone to like... But you know, then we're going to do A, then B. Okay. This is just A. We're going to add some B yeah. in a minute once we rub it in. It has to, it has to absorb into the paper first. Mm -hmm. If you got this on your skin, you'd really regret it. So we don't want that. Yeah. Right? And then we're going to put B then A. Okay. B. Okay. Whoa. Hit my finger. <laughs> it exploded on my finger. Yeah. Did you feel that? I sure did. I felt it. Felt now, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put a little more A on this because we didn't get enough. Yeah, you guys can hurt here. I feel a lot of pain if you touch that. Yeah, so we don't want to do it. So what we're going to do is... Um, let them sit in here for a little bit, and then we're oh gonna come God. back. So give it a little, give it a rest for about, pause it for about two or three minutes, buddy, and then we'll come back, okay? That's like a soda, like after you shake it. Okay, come up here. Now we're gonna do B, A and then B. Watch, it's gonna fizz probably. See that? It's pushing the dirt out of it. it smells bad too. And then we push this on there. It makes just oxygen gas. Yeah, I don't like the smell. And then we do B and then A. And do the same thing, but. It's also going to push the gas out. Watch this. That look a little different. I think we already kind of neutralized it a little bit. And then we'll just take, we'll kind of pat it up right here like that. And then we'll come back when they dry and we'll see which one made the whitest spot on I'm the thing without B damaging it. P is fantastic, actually. So. Actually, you're right. Now that I realize that it's, it's that the comic book is supposed to be like, you know, white instead of like brown. It's actually looking extremely well. Yeah, that's a pretty good observation. Yeah, the B then A is looking really good. You notice that? Yeah. We'll do A here again too. We're just trying to make a product with a bit less. Let's try to get this liquid. brown stuff up off the edge here. See this reddish brown stuff? Yeah. See if they, we'll put a lot of A up here. Just just regular A. Slightly Regular B is working great. I just worry that it's going to weaken the paper. Yeah, A is doing good. It has salicylic yeah, okay. acid. It, it is, I think it is hurting the paper. It is working definitely by a lot the best, but obviously it's going to... But, but see, what we want to do, the best trick, right, is to put a lot of B on there, and then you neutralize it with the... There, look at that. Oh, yeah. And we want to neutralize it with the A before it gets... Let's see how that turns out. Yeah, we want to neutralize it with the A before it gets too far in there watch this so that doesn't we want to make it white without hurting the paper see yeah it's doing a bit better it's hard to it's pretty hard to see but doing a little bit better yeah so let's let's pad that dry especially in real life and then we're just going to let it dry and we will come back mm -hmm. and you and i will have another video for man called nova oh check it out mm -hmm. we have some ink here let's do a quick experiment while we're at it dude mm -hmm.
I want to check it. It's to be this is EDTA and calcium hypochlorite and okay. sodium silicate. Let me see if take that off. Let me see. Is that work at? It might do it. I don't know. It might. Mm. Oh yeah, it's definitely doing it. Look, quite a lot. Look, dude, it's getting it. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it... Yeah, it definitely works. I'm probably better than my solvents. Look at this pink marks up here. Look at that. The pink marks. Yeah, it's like they call it foxing. Well, I have a whole video on that stuff. Let's see. Okay. Well, yeah, it looks a lot better. I mean, geez, it's working pretty good. Okay, we'll let this dry, and then we'll evaluate it for how much the paper is whitened and how much it's embrittled, okay? And we'll come up with the best method. So let's yeah. leave it here. Let's get a little warm so that it dries more quickly, yeah. and then we'll check it before we wreck it, okay? Okay. So let's see here. looks like A is a little whiter, but not a lot. B is crazy whiter right would you say yeah b is extremely white As but a is about as white but still a bit darker a followed up with b is i'd say kind of between the two would you say yeah let's look here but after drawing b after or a I mean, is b is like ridiculously white i would say it's not subtle right yeah and then b followed by a is probably the best well you know what here's the thing is this paper is like kind of stiff right here and I feel like it's probably weaker yeah it it's not like it's not like this is really flexible but this is stiff right we don't want to do that so we want to like we want it to be kind of nice what do you say we do experiment we do this whole top section with b followed by a what do you think maybe take a picture do a little picture button there okay picture yeah bam okay let's do it let's see what it looks like if we do it this way and we can make a reaction are you ready to be my little chemist buddy? Yeah. All right, dude, let's do it. Chemist, dude. Chemist power. Yeah. Activate. Yeah. Chemist power. Yep. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. All right, here we go. B. Yep. And we're just going to kind of, actually, we should probably put it on the pad first. Yeah, we'll probably it. the pad. The pad's a bit more controllable. I'll squirt some on it's a bit, pad like this. Yeah. Pad's a little spread. And I'm going to wipe it on here. That's awesome. Right, mm -hmm. wipe and then it. after we wipe, we're gonna we're gonna see some crazy town. Right, it's about to get crazy. Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let it sit for about thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Okay. Now. I'm not sure if it's been thirty seconds yet. No. I don't know. We're gonna estimate. We're just gonna let it sit for a little bit. How's that sound? We don't really. Yeah, know. Yeah, I bet we do until it says I'm recording for one minute and ten seconds. Okay. Yeah, that's in 10 seconds. Okay, ready? Um, oh man, it's already getting wider, you can mm, see. Uh, okay, ready? Uh, yep. And here we go. Well, it's not really fizzing too much. Well, it looks, I don't know, it doesn't look terrific, it doesn't look terrible. Yeah. I think that the original B test is looking worse, and you're actually <laughs> everything is really looking worse. Well, it is for now, of course. Actually, everything, it turned everything into really just a lighter brown, to be honest. Yeah, it's not, like, this is no good, unless you can make it look uniform. It's, actually, it's probably not going to be down. great. Let's try to put some more B on here and see what happens. Okay, B. Look at that, look at the papers fizzing. Oh, there we go, look. Oh, yeah. It's pushing that right out of there. It's turning, it turns oh, yeah. white. Shut that on this side. I'm going to zoom up a bit. Okay. It's probably B. It's probably B then A then B again. Watch. Sorry for zooming out. Look at that. Wow. It pushes the dark like right out of it. Because I don't need zoomed out. Jeez. That's really working well. I'm surprised. Yeah. It's working amazing. It's going to look way too white though. We're going to figure it's going to look like also, there's super white compared to the rest of the book. There's also a lot of water. It is not water, but yeah, I hear I mean, you. Oh, well. It's like, it's like a lot of wet stuff. Uh, yeah. Can't pan the camera down. Well, we'll keep working on it. Oh yeah. We're gonna make sure. I maybe I need to change it. I need to change the uh, simulation a little bit. Zoom back again. All the critics. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Well. Let's see, pal. And let's let that dry a little bit in the air, and then we'll press it, and we'll see how white that book looks. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can whiten it. I'm sure that we can do a pretty good job of this because um, yeah. it's not that hard, right? 
Gosh, I, I really thought that we were gonna have to use our regular cleaners, but man, this uh oh, oh no, oh no <laughs> it went crazy oh, on no. my hand. Oh no, oh no. It's spilled. It's alright, I get it. I'll get it. Daddy will get it. Yes. Don't use your hands to get it. Alright, we gotta we gotta clean up a mess, chop the camera. We gotta do Well, we both, Nolan and I both hope you enjoyed that video. We did, out of all of this, come up with a pretty good and repeatable method for removing foxing and white stains. We're still working on the ink. It's given us a little bit of trouble, but we'll, we have um, done a few more examples and we're going to post our foxing removal method soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.